So this here is a model of the skeleton of Puyila darwini, and this animal is a missing link. It was discovered in 2007 in Nunavut, and what it shows us is what the seals look like before they had flippers. So you can see that this is an animal and he has webbed feet, he has a long tail, he sort of looks otter-like, um, but in fact he's a relative of the seal, seal group, and so he's an important missing link, an intermediate. So this is Puyila, um, a flesh reconstruction, so the furry rendering of what this animal would have looked like. And we actually have a pretty good idea that this is actually what it would have looked like because we have most of the skeleton. And actually, initially when we found it, we thought it might actually be an otter, but there's features in the skull that tell us that it must be, in fact, a seal relative. So details in the uh, brain case area, details in the teeth, um, all told us that this is a seal relative and not an otter. So this diorama shows what the Arctic would have looked like 50 million years ago. And at this time, there were alligators living in the Arctic. It was a rainforest environment. And here we have represented is Corypidon, this hippo-like animal, but there's also in the diorama a tapir. This is Corypidon, and this is a completely extinct lineage of herbivorous animals. This would be a plant-eating animal. And you can see that we're interpreted him here as being a, a hippo-like form wading in the water in the swamps in the high arctic. Well, this exhibit is great because it looks at how extreme certain mammals are. Uh, visitors will get to see the largest land mammal ever to live. It was 15 feet high, and they'll actually get to walk underneath the belly of the animal.